Hi. Oh, I almost dropped this. Today is Wednesday and I should be doing some readings right now, but I need to get ready really quickly and then I'm going to try to read them, pretend that I read them in, in entirety, and we'll just go from there. And I still need to get food, so I'm hoping to be done with my makeup in like 20 minutes today. Yesterday, I just did concealer because I just, I had a test and I didn't have time and I didn't really care. But today, I have two classes back to back and then I have um, workout after that. And I'm usually try to put on something to work out, you know, because you have to look cute when you work out. Speaking of working out, I did a boot camp class on Monday and apparently during our circuit, like some people were slacking. So he made the entire class do 40 burpees and I hate burpees. Like I can do I can do a few, like 10, and then after that, I just feel like I'm dying. So it was really hard. And on top of like, we did it at the end of class, so we had just worked out. And um, we have to do the same thing all over again today. And I have never had sore abs like this before. I feel like someone is like pulling my insides out it's from like my rib cage all the way down to like my pelvic area and I mean it's good it was just really painful yesterday today's not as bad but yeah no pain no gain um but it's good I think it probably had to do with the fact that he had us doing a lot of core workout, a lot of um, isometric holds. So like when you're working out, uh, you do the motions and the movements of whatever you're doing in the circuit, and then you take like 60 seconds or so and you just do a hold. So. That's probably part of it. Um, I also skipped workout for like a week or so. I was supposed to go to class last Wednesday and I ditched it to study for an exam. It was the first class I didn't go to. And I feel bad, but you're allowed to miss three, so. Yeah, I think just not working out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's six days, so. My body was like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I don't know if I like this angle, but I'm just, who cares at this point? Um, but yeah, I had an exam yesterday. I don't feel too good about it. I don't know, maybe I'll surprise myself. But, uh, the good news is that I did an extra credit assignment on climate change. So I will get 10 points added to my exam. So. If I do poorly, that will help. Today is a beautiful day. It's like 70, 75 degrees outside. Sun is shining. I'm super happy. 
I usually just wear workout clothes to class on Mondays and Wednesdays. That way I don't have to change for boot camp later on. So I'm just rocking some leggings and a crop top. So, you know, keeping it cash. I'm starving. I was gonna make coffee, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like an iced coffee today. It's pretty warm. I was on Pinterest trying to figure out, like looking up outfits to wear. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit colder today. So I was looking at like sweaters and scarves and boots and stuff. And then I opened my door and I'm like, oh, never mind. It's really hot outside. I usually print the stuff that I have to read for class because if you're in class and you haven't printed, I feel like it's way easier to like read in class. And so if you didn't do readings and you have it in your hand, you can make notes as you're like in class, listen to the teacher. And um, it just helps versus having it like pulled up on your iPad or something. And I haven't gotten to the library this week to print a bunch of stuff. And I don't want to waste all of my ink to do it. So I'm debating right now if I should just print the readings out right now. So I have them in class right now when I go. Or. What is going on outside? Hold on. like a bunch of important important people with clipboards and we're not supposed to go on our balcony right now so I hope they didn't see me <gasps> her get her apparently they need to be repaired and I've known that since August and they still haven't done anything about it I really doubt me standing on that balcony is going to make it, like, fall off or something. But, yeah. I'm just a rule breaker, I guess. So brave. Okay, I'm done. What do I need to do? Highlighter. I usually use my phone for the time and I don't, I can't see the time on it right now, so I'm kind of like worried. And I have watches, but <laughs> all the batteries are dead. I just use them for aesthetics, you know? Listen, everybody. I don't know what they're assessing outside right now, but it looks important. using my um my old eyeshadow that's almost gone because 
I feel like when I'm in a hurry, I forget about all of the things that I could have used. Like my new concealer, I didn't use that today, I totally forgot. Yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup how I want to do it and then whatever works works. I'm trying to eavesdrop, but it's not working. <laughs> Shoot, I still need to pack my book bag. Um. I hate when I do my makeup and then I find like dead skin on my face because it ruins everything. Not even kidding. So that sucks. Because then once you peel dead skin off, it's like. You have to put more makeup on. Mm. I need to order graduation invitations. I think they were available on the 6th. I think today's the 8th. I really need to get on that. Part of me wants to just do like the most basic invitations ever because they're cheap. And the other part of me just wants to get the fancy ones because I'm finally graduating. So like, it'd be nice. I think as long as they have like that cool little like seal graduation seal I'll be happy that makes it official for sure um this cover-up isn't working I don't know why dang it I was almost to my brows too Whenever I hear loud noises, I freak out because you just never know what it's going to be. Um, okay, brows. Back to what I was doing before. Sometimes I feel like if I'm too close when I do my brows, they end up really dark because you just, like, you just can't tell you're doing when you're like this close to a mirror and then you step back and you're like oh wow just like plucking your brows if you pluck your brows in like a really um I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now like a zoomed mirror a magnifying mirror 
when you get done, you don't have any brows left because you just pluck everything off. You're like, that doesn't belong there. That doesn't belong there. And then you're like, oh no, my brows are gone. So, but then if you don't look in a like magnifying mirror, it could look really bad. So I feel like you need a little bit of both. Like this mirror's magnified, but not that much. Well, it has two sides to it. Okay. See, sometimes when I'm doing my brows too, they get so big. Like they get so wide. I really need to work on that. Usually what I'll do is just trace my brows and like fill them in lightly. And then I just comb everything through. Like up, 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 out. And then it just kind of like all blends together. You don't really need to fill them in. At least I don't because I don't have like super thin brows, but there's just like a couple areas that need touching up. But then I feel like once you comb it, you get the product everywhere anyway. So it kind of balances out. This week really has been a struggle. I don't I don't know why. I'm just going to pretend that like I'm getting taller and I'm going through like a growth spurt and that's why I'm so tired. That'd be great. Just like two more inches. Like if I was 5'7", that'd be great. I don't even think I'm like actually, I might be like 5'4 and a half. I don't think I'm quite to the 5'5". Five five. I've been told otherwise, but I just don't believe it. Just depends on what shoes you wear, I guess. Part of me wanted to dress up today, but that didn't happen. And I'm not mad. It's okay. Honestly. Tennis shoes and leggings are the way to go. And I didn't today, but you could totally dress up leggings and make them look more casual than like workout, which I love doing. Like last week, I think I wore like a crop top or something. And I paired it with like a jean jacket with like sheepskin, big sheepskin on it. And like workout shoes, probably like Nikes or something. And it looked so cute. It didn't look like I was going to the gym, but I felt comfortable like I was going to the gym. If that makes sense. And yeah, all you have to do is just go on Pinterest and type in like cute outfits, athleisure wear, or cute fall outfits, or workout outfits, fashion, or something like that. And you can get so many good ideas. And I just save them to my camera roll. And my iPhone is so smart that it, it puts all my Pinterest saves in a separate folder. 
So if I'm like, shoot, I don't know what to wear today, I just go look at that. Or I go to Pinterest. Obviously, I try to find pins that have clothes that are similar to what I own. Like if I can't recreate that look with what I have, I'm not going to save that pin because what's the point? It usually gives me inspiration. Like, oh, I have a shirt similar or I have similar shoes or pants. And then I can just envision it. I usually don't pin things very much though. I don't know, it's just not my jam. Like I like using Pinterest, but I don't pin a lot. I should pin more. And in case you're wondering, I do not have a secret Pinterest of like wedding stuff or BB stuff. I, I just think that that's weird. The girls who like have their entire baby shower wedding planned out before they even have a boyfriend. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Stop. That time will come and you can do it then. I do pin babies, but that's different. Like pinning babies and then just like pinning baby shower stuff or whatever else weird people do. I'm just kidding. It's not weird. If that's what you want to do, do it. I have an eyelash curler, but oh, this one's broken. I don't know where my other one is. I was using it one day and normally when you use an eyelash curler, you press down like really hard. And I did that and my eyelashes were literally like bent in half. Like what happened? Um, let me check the time. Steady hand. Slow and steady wins the race. Maybe it does work because that wind looks good. Okay, this one looks way better. I don't know. This is not going well. They're so different. Um, I'm running out of time. Shoot. 
shoot, I might just print those articles because I just not I'm not gonna have enough time to read them all the way through. I don't know what I was thinking today, but I decided to sleep in. I don't know why, but I did. And I was like, it'll be fine. Totally not fine. Okay, where did that go? This is tricky. By the way, I really love Ariana Grande's new song, Thank You Next. She's like a musical genius. But yeah, that song is so good. I don't know why. But my eyeliner looks so different than I normally do it. Looks like really weird. Like really weird. I don't even know how to describe it. It like just came out so weird. if you can like play music while you're recording a video that would be fun okay I think I'm done I'm just gonna put on some lip stuff I love my best friends don't like this I mean I don't, I don't know they like wear lipstick way more than I do but this is NYX Lingerie Lips in lace detail. I like them. I like them because they're not like super permanent. Like they can, they come off. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, I forgot mascara. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh. I need to grab my pencil bag, my folders, my phone. print those articles. It's weird because this class, they don't, we don't have tests. So, I'm like, I 
have all of the past articles in my folder and it weighs like 10 pounds and I feel like I can take it out because we're not going to have a test on it. It's not like we're going to use them again. But there's mascara in my hair. Like I can see it out of the corner of my eye. <gasps> I told you this stuff gets everywhere. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Oh, I just burped. Mm, cute. It's such a pretty day. I'm so excited. I'm excited for coffee. Yay. I always open my mouth when I'm doing mascara. I don't... Like, I'm trying to make my eyes wider and then my mouth gets wider. It's like this weird thing that girls do and it's... Not a myth, people. It's an actual thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just gonna have to be good. Thank you. Next. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da I haven't, I've only listened to the song one time. But it's a good song from what I heard. I'm so freaking excited on my ex. Oh, I got mascara on my finger. I think there's something in my eye because it's burning a lot. Probably just sprayed directly into my eyeball. <gasps> oh gosh, this is how girls go blind. It's burning really bad. Oh, it's red. Great. Usually when my eye is burning and I don't want to mess up my makeup, I just take a tissue and I close my lid on the tissue to absorb all the tears. <laughs> Ain't got no tears left to cry. That's an Ari song too. Okay. I think that's good. Um, I wasn't going to wear a hat today, but my hair is greasy, and I took a shower last night, and I didn't wash it, and I don't know why I did that, because I hate doing that, it like, drives me crazy, and I did it anyway, and so I have to put on another hat. It's not redeemable at this point. I think we're just going to go with that. And oh my gosh, an iced latte sounds so good right now. I deserve it. Okay. Thanks for joining me. This is my makeup. If it looks bad, I'm sorry.